So we are starting right on time to make sure to, that we can make the best of our time together here. And uh, I'm Nicole Eber from Wikimedia Deutschland, together with my colleague Eva Martin, also from Wikimedia Deutschland. And we are very happy to have Nanur and Sadiq with us today from the Future of Affiliate Gatherings group. And they are co-hosting the session together with us. And just to let you know what you can expect, we will have a very short, we try to keep it very short presentation, and then we brought questions that we want to discuss first with Nanua and Sadiq, and then open the floor for each question also for you, if you want to add to these questions. And the Wikimedia Summit was four months ago already. It was in April in Berlin. And we wanted to use the opportunity at Wikimania to look back at this event and maybe also look into the future. And later today there will be another session as a follow-up of the Wikimedia Summit about movement governance and the movement charter. But now this is a session about the future of affiliate gatherings. And I also have to click here. Um, the Wikimedia, the last Wikimedia summit of its kind. We always said this, it's the last summit of its kind. So the Wikimedia Summit itself, for those who haven't been at one, it's an affiliate conference where the affiliates and the Wikimedia Foundation come together to discuss the future of the Wikimedia movement. And we as Wikimedia Deutschland have been hosting this event like 12 times already. It was once in Milan and in uh, the Netherlands as well. But we did it um, 12 times and together with the Wikimedia Foundation, who were always co-funders and co-hosts, we have basically made all the decisions about the program and the purpose and about who can actually attend the Wikimedia Summit based on what we actually thought was best for all the affiliates. So we made all these decisions and why we said it's the last summit of its kind is that we believe that there lies a lot of power in designing this ev uh, event or this way the affiliates gather and we believe it's the right thing to hand it over to more affiliates than just Wikimedia Deutschland to make these decisions. So we wanted this event to be more aligned with movement strategy and the idea of equity and decentralization. So in April we hosted this last summit of its kind. It was also very sad that it was the last, but we think it's really the right approach and we handed um, the process over and started a transfer of responsibilities and that is what Eva is now going to talk about. Thanks Nicole. So as Nicole just said, the steering committee of the Wikimedia Summit agreed that this was going to be the last summit of its kind, meaning the last Wikimedia Summit being hosted and organized by Wikimedia Deutschland. And as soon as we agreed on it, then we communicated it and we thought about the process about how we could be handing over this responsibility. So what we did is we organized a survey that we shared with all the affiliates, not just the one attending the summit, but every affiliate in the movement. We asked them if they wanted affiliate gathering to continue. The answer was yes. We asked them about the purpose of those events, the format and so on. If you want to have the details, it's all on Meta. You can look it up and have access to all the documentation of the conversations that happened at the summit. And then based on the survey and, and the results of it, we met in Berlin and there were three sessions where we discussed this. And at the end of the session, a group came together and you see them here on picture and you see two of their members sitting with us today. They came together and they said that they were willing to work to design a concept for the future of those events. They didn't say they are going to organize it, but they agreed that they would be working together to answer all the big questions, um, including what should be the purpose of those events, who should participate, and so on. And they came together, which meant that at the end of the summit, it was not no longer Wikimedia Deutschland's responsibility to answer all of those questions, but it was the task of the group. And now we would love to hear from you. <laughs> no spoiler. We'd love to hear from you. How was your experience? And what happened after the summit? Ah, yeah, both mic. mic no? Wait. no, no, we need a mic for that. I think you need to stand. Does this one work? Hello. 
Um, my name is Sadek Shahadu from the Gban Wikimedians User Group. I also work with the Wikimedia Language Diversity Hub. So um, as they rightly mentioned, we were mm, a com a working group members after the summit. Um, there was a call for volunteers to support in co-designing a concept, not to you know be like a, a, a steering committee for the next future gathering. So myself, Nanur, and my colleagues who are not here own up to support in designing a concept that would help us shape the next uh, future gathering. And that was how we came together. And right after the summit, one week after the summit, we decided to start regular meetings by engaging online on our own with our own resources to you know, design the concept by sharing ideas, putting working documents together, and you know, connecting with uh, like-minded individuals who have done some of these works in the past to see how best we can put things together. That was how we, um, the working group was formed. And I'll give it out for Nanu to also share. Yes. Hello, uh, here is uh, Nanur. I'm uh, a contributor in uh, Arabic communities, but uh, I uh, attended the uh, summit at, uh, as a representative uh, for a Wiki, uh, uh, f which one? Wiki for, uh, World Heritage User Group. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and uh, yes, uh, I were very glad to be a part of this uh, uh, group. It was the name is not fixed of this group actually, but right now we are called ourselves that the name that put to us on Meta is working group. Yeah, it was an organizing committee, but now well, we are not uh, sure about the name, right? Um, and we are uh, eight. People, yeah, together from different uh, uh, and the volunteers that there were uh, in the room that uh, uh, wanted to be part of uh, of this. And uh, uh, after that, where where we started our uh, uh, weekly meetings on Sunday uh, evening at my time, uh, then was. Uh, uh, Directly come uh, clear that we don't have, we don't know what is our mandate. We don't know if this uh, group or committee is uh, something like the other committees of the foundation. Uh, it, do we have any kind of resource, uh, or we are going to do it as uh, in our own all the work to get this design? And uh, you know, parallel of that, the, the charter things happened, and this design group is was it was for. Yes, we know that the Global Council is coming, so it will be another global meeting for another group. So we. Just you people are going to design some, something that we start in 2026 for the affiliates, but we don't know how, we don't know how, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and then we have contacted uh, some uh, staff members in the uh, foundation and asked for the clarification. Uh, the clarification uh, uh, in the beginning made make us more confused because we heard something different and uh, yeah you can imagine that uh, per it's personally but that uh, our situation is reflected a little bit what's happening in our movement actually with the with the charter and all the things we don't know what we what is our name what is our role exactly we have the mandate or not so okay uh, we needed some clarification, but make uh, but the answers made us uh, more confused about that. And uh, then we asked directly on the meta page. You can go on the meta page, a uh, talk page of the future of gathering, and see that we post to the steering committee, which is the foundation and the Wikimedia Deutschland together. They're uh, uh, doing this job, the steering committee of the uh, Wikimedia Summit. So we posed the many questions. The most important was about our mandates and about if we will have any resource. And, and then we get some answers about that as well. But it's not took enough, enough and clear to us to know how can we design and the affiliates. And uh, 
This happening during the ratification, and this uh, became more complicated. So we want to discuss a little bit more of it, uh, with you here. Thank you. Thank you. So um, just to add to that, um, right after the summit, our understanding of the working group was that we're going to you know, get some form of um, support from Wikimedia Deutschland and uh, Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, just She also mentioned, as it stands now, we are very confused about the whole um, you know, uh, working group like procedures that are supposed to be followed, who uh, is the stakeholder for the working group, whether it's Wikimedia Deutschland or Wikimedia Foundation. And though we ask certain questions, we got some feedback, but we still need clarification. That's the main reason why we are having this session. We are hoping that we can um, brainstorm together with all of you here to see what the future uh, would look like for the working group. Right now, uh, we have decided to pause on our regular meetings and seek more clarification from either foundation or anybody that is involved to help us understand the core mandate of the working group. Yeah, It is also important to share that we are just a working group, not um, representing our affiliates not in any capacity. Uh, so I represented, during the summit, I represented Dagbani in the working group, and she also represented Wiki, um, Heri World Heritage. So all of us are individual volunteers who have interest in helping shape the next future gathering. We don't know how it will look like. And there's also the need, as she mentioned, we see that the ratification hasn't been approved, and the fact that MCDC is dissolved there's an urgent need for us to have a next gathering. We don't know when or how soon that could be. And this session is directly going to help us get some more insights from all of you and also seek clarification for us to understand if we should continue doing the work we do uh, as volunteers and if there's a need for us to you know, find a different direction or you know, work with other people. There. Next slide. Perfect. Thanks, Sadiq. So let's maybe just. Do I have a, a minute to add something? So to say just <laughs> sorry that we have not a design for you to suggest for you saying that, yeah, we have this and this, which one you prefer. And uh, so this is what's happened with us. So thank you. Thank you. OK, let's maybe just uh, start having the conversation and try to bring some clarity in all of that. We brought four questions. And you would be able to ask your question afterwards. The idea is we would like to start by asking this question to the working group and then open the floor for reactions or questions from the audience. And we have some timekeeping. Laura would be great if you, yeah, let's try to stick to the time. So first question, it's, it's for you guys. What does the working group need to resume their work? OK, thank you. So mm -hmm. as I mentioned, our main um, uh, objective for this session is to seek clarification, right? Even though we had um, you know, feedback from the foundation, we still need some clarification regarding our core mandate. After that, once we get the clarification, we also need to understand how um, the foundation will support the working group in terms of resources and capacity and any other form of support that would help us you know, move forward with uh, the work. As it is now, we are just individuals volunteers who spend uh, our um, working hours to you know, co-design the concept of the next affiliate gathering. So I don't know if I answered this. Do you want to add something? Or? No, it's, it's the, these two, two okay. points. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Any reaction from anyone here? Yeah? Sorry. 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 Um, Nangara and my first impression was, wouldn't your mandate come from AFCOM? Wouldn't it be the affiliates committee itself that is your guide, that makes the decision of all the affiliate meetings and brings everyone together? Because that is their role in the first place. While Mick, Wikimedia Deutschland has done a fantastic job um, because they've had the resources, capacity, whatever, it's like where it's an affiliate program, you're bringing all your affiliates together, surely your mandate comes from AFCON. I would also just like to you don't always have to react to everything that's being said, because this is supposed to be a brainstorm. So maybe just... Uh, 
Uh, yes, Mikola or Nick Cave, Wikimedia Ukraine. So my question is very similar to what Nyangara said, but like even zooming out a bit, what is the target audience? So like, is the target audience still affiliates? In which case, probably I would expect like either Ofcom or some affiliate groups like ED Group, chairpersons, regional hubs, whoever represents affiliates or like questioning all 200 affiliates one after each other, which is probably a lot of work, but it's important to understand like who is the main stakeholder in this summit because so far it was Wikimedia Germany who said we have a cool project, we do everything, just come and it will work. We know that it is not sustainable. Like if we say there is a value in affiliates meeting together, then we need to say like why do affiliates want to meet? Hey everyone, Percy Savada, Wikimedia in New York City. Um, so I just had a question about the makeup of the working group. Who currently sits on the working group and is there room for new people to join that working group? Um, but Tadik, would you like to maybe just answer? Just for this. So um, the working group is made up of volunteers who um, decided to come together to work on the co-designing of the like the concept so even though we were just a few representatives from different affiliates we understand that not everybody was represented at the summit some people had issues with visa and we can't assume that everybody there was from um, like all affiliates were covered at the summit so the idea was to start working on something and allow more people to join from foundation and also with support from Wikimedia Deutschland, maybe they can support us with certain logistical arrangements. I know they are handing over everything to whoever is going to take the next um, committee, but it is still open for other people to join. But at a stand now, we cannot accept um, any form of like request to continue working or accepting people to join because we ourselves are confused and we need clarity on that. But to, be, to answer your question simply, yeah, it's open for more people to join and we accept uh, other people to join. And uh, there's also two questions that I need to answer, but we'll get to that. We have four questions that we would like to ask all of you here for you to help us address them together. Yeah. Hi, Christoph. Wikimedia Nothing right now, so that's great. Um, just on the why question and so on, that's a great question, but we spent the last eight years trying to answer them, and so if we take as a premise that we need to answer who exactly needs to be there and why, we're going to take eight more years before we have another conference. That's the first thing. Second thing is I genuinely believe as a person, and not being at a Wikimedia event for the last six years, um, that going to event is critical, not even just for the outcome, but just for the meeting people and be together and the uh, oh no, togetherness. So having events, having that event is important for that. And everything I'm hearing right now is going into the direction where there is going to be nothing in 2025, because we are in August. There is very, very little uh, that has been done so far, and understand the mandate thing. Uh, and so, as things goes, there is a really high chance that 2025 will be either nothing or back to what we used to do, an emergency organization with Wikimedia Germany, which might not want to do that this time. Um, and so, all of that being said, I um, and last thing is, everything I heard so far, there was no mention about uh, uh, workforces, resources, and funding. My perception, because it was not mentioned, that it, that everything is still up there. So if there is a requirement from your group to have resources from Wikimedia Germany or Wikimedia uh, Foundation, it's going to be there. And stop me if I'm wrong. We can have the conversation <laughs> about this, yes. But, but uh, then back, so I was like, you could move forward. Then that should be the first thing is, is the resources that were available in the last year or two years still up to be used in 25, 2026, just for continuity's sake? Otherwise, it means rebuilding everything budget-wise, resource-wise, and so on, and it's not going to happen. And so, mandate-wise, the only thing I would push for is to find, so that you find a, I don't know, a, a good standing where there is a transition period for I don't know, one year, two years, and so on, where Foundation and, and Wikimedia Germany keep on using the skill sets, experience, budget, and so on to organize it logistically. It's not fun, but 
it needs to happen. And then you focus on the shift that needs to happen, which is the one you mentioned, which is relinquishing power in the design of the organization. And that the uh, struggle of making it worth it and uh, useful and what do we talk about and so on, then shift away. And then you have a year and two to shift away also competence, uh, sorry, skill sets and so on. But you cannot do everything at once like that. Otherwise, we're not going to have anything for a year or two. I would love it. <laughs> not now, but we will see with the rest of our questions. Yeah, thank you. Now, uh, just answering why not AFCOM, um, I will pose the uh, question why, why not AFCOM is the Wikimedia Summit Steering Committee. I don't know. Uh, it, it's something that was before me, before joining the movement, so it was not there. So we addressed the uh, Steering Committee, which is the Wikimedia Foundation and Wikimedia Deutschland. I, I see some hands, but it's just like, for the sake of the time, maybe we can move forward. I could imagine that your reaction or question can be maybe covered by the questions that we have here. So let's uh, move forward with the second question, which is, you mentioned the ratification, you mentioned the assumptions that you had when the affiliates met in Berlin four months ago. Since then, there has been a charter that was published. It hasn't been ratified, and therefore, how does the charter ratification outcome impact your work and the future of affiliate gathering. Thank you. So um, this has really um, affected the working group, uh, to be honest. And from what we understand, uh, you can also make reference to the comments or the discussions we have on the meta page. Um, mm. This is definitely going to affect our next future gathering because we, as a working group, see the need for us to have um, a gathering of that nature as soon as possible, even as soon as 2025, we are not sure, because um, the ratification wasn't approved and because there's also no more um, MCDC, we are going to need, we will need some form of gathering that will help us, you know, move forward from where Wikimedia Deutschland has left. So we see the need for us to have the next gathering, but we are not sure. And the fact that it wasn't, the ratification wasn't approved, means we cannot continue with anything at this point. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. And uh, I can add on, on that that uh, the reason that uh, do not have uh, the next uh, summit for 2025, it was that we'll have a global council and it will be an, uh, a global event to, to gather people together. And this uh, reason is not uh, exist anymore. So the reason the canceling summit it's not exist anymore. So why not going and have the summit again for 2025, especially that we don't know that what we are going to do. And this is something I think, if you share this with me, I don't know, but I share it with you. We cannot discuss it during a session or for 40 minutes or on a talk page or on a Swan session, for example. No. We need to come together to know what we are going to do for our, our affiliates. Because there is no more global cancer, there is no more charter. So where we are going, uh, at least as we are uh, gathering here, we need to gather our affiliates, the partners of the Wikimedia Foundation, to know how we can design our future together. And who is our stakeholders? Is still the Wikimedia Foundation and Wikimedia uh, Deutschland. And, or there will be another stakeholders to design this uh, gather, uh, future gathering together. So when we are going to discuss this, if it's not in a uh, very as soon as possible gathering together, especially for that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hi, Franziska, Wikimedia Deutschland. Um, and that actually brings me back to this question you did not want to open again, but um, is it an affiliates gathering or is it a different form? Because um, these strategic questions, yeah, they, they can and should be discussed by affiliates, but if you look at how the ratification process for the charter was, it was the affiliates, it was the communities, and it was the foundation. I'm really wondering, right, if we say we need an affiliate gathering to discuss these things, is this enough? Or m mustn't we say, well, 
all these groups need to come together to find a solution because otherwise um, there's probably not going to be one. And then, I'm sorry, just to add that, at the same time, I of course also understand this need for having this space for affiliates to discuss affiliates' challenges, because there are some. Um, and does that need a separate space would probably be another question. Yeah, hello, my name is Carl, working with Wikimedia Foundation, um, and have been supporting both Wikimedia Summits for some time, and uh, also supporting the movement charter and movement strategy processes. So I think there is additional context to Nanor's point that, uh, that she was making. Um, I think the, regarding the Wikimedia Summit, there was a question, okay, we reshaped it from Wikimedia Conference to the Wikimedia Summit to really support the Wikimedia 2030 strategy process and to have the discussions what is the future, what is the governance, etc. In some ways, it feels that these types of discussions have run their course. And there was a question, okay, what is the next big step? And especially also the points that Francisca is raising, like whether it is even like too narrow of a scope regarding some of the strategic discussions. Perhaps they need to happen in a wider platform involving the online communities and, and all of that. Like these questions are out there. And uh, also regarding uh, like the ratification of movement charter and all of that, there was a, only a tentative idea. Maybe the G General Assembly or meeting of the Global Council can be the next step, but it was a big question mark all the time. Like that was not a given. And uh, at the same time, there is this what is the future of affiliate landscape overall? And I think we need to have these types of conversations, and, and there might be work that we can do, like, okay, what are the gatherings we need? We already have regional meetings, we have Wikimania. What else is missing here to Christophe's point? We need to come together and have important and deep discussions. So maybe there is a platform missing. So, so there are kind of many points regarding that, but I think like there is a further context uh, related to the processes so far and, and the big question of what is the future of affiliate gatherings or what is the overall future of all the gatherings we have in Wikimedia world. Incomplete. So before the summit was about strategy, we just came together as affiliates to have workshops on governance on how to deal with hiring your first employee, all those kind of topics which as a movement save us a lot of time and energy and share lessons learned. The fact that we're growing as a movement across the world makes it more important than ever that the people that are in charge of those decisions and that do the governance are able to not just focus on strategic questions, which are also more relevant than ever, seeing the developments over the past two months, but also are able to share their experiences and make the tent bigger for everyone who wants to grow and exchange experiences. We can share funding and everything else, but making that spending effective, that depends on exchanging your experience with others. I think having the opportunity to come together and discuss these things is essential and can't even, we can't wait until 2025 or 2026. We need to do it as soon as possible. And I, I for some reason, I'm, I know it's hard, and I'd like Christoph's suggestion, like we need a transition period. I know it's really hard to look at Wikimedia Deutschland or anybody else, but so far, increasing the investment in affiliates from funding perspective, but not increasing their uh, ability to exchange experiences and learn from each other is a ridiculous way to invest your money. So I think the foundation should really support this as much as they can, because it's the most worthwhile investment you have. It sounds luxury flying together, and, but it's a really intensive couple of days. We had a governance workshop the last time around. A lot of people stayed afterwards to do that. I think more people will want to do that, and it's more very effective. Hey folks, uh, Megs, they, them. Um, so I, I fully agree on, on many of these points and I really want to express my gratitude to Wikimedia Deutschland for all of the work that you have done and to each of you for engaging in this process as well. Um, you know, it is absolutely wild to me that the community is stalled because of the decision of the board. Um, it is wild to me that um, the foundation is unwilling to relinquish power and I find it absolutely heartbreaking that 
Wikimedia Foundation employees were giving, given talking points in order to attend Wikimedia that they were not given the authorization to engage in real conversation with us and to listen. And that, to me, is not acting in good faith. Um, and so a big question for me around the lack of ratification, and you can tell I'm nervous, my hands always shake, but they're especially shaking now, um, around the, um, the fact that the charter was not ratified is not only what is the future of the affiliates, but to face the very real question is, does the Wikimedia Foundation envision a future that includes affiliates? Um, you know, and I think that's that's something for us to engage in, and we all happen to be in the same rooms now, um, and I don't know how many opportunities there will be for that in the future. Okay, I'm lost. You're lost. I'm, I'm a bit lost with who is next, actually. Okay, I think maybe even just gonna. Thank you. I'm not sure if I'm the only person in the room who feels like a very black hole after the no ratification and with no summit. <laughs> so maybe I, I am, I'm very in favor of the proposal of, of, of Christoph of having like a secondary or priority meeting of transition because it's hard to understand that we don't have the process of the strategy, we don't have the ratification, and we don't have summit. <laughs> so it's like a bunch of anxiety for the next 12 months, you know? I don't know if Wikimedia Germany have some idea or definitively it's out of organize something in the next year, or if the committee have something planned. A working group. Mm -hmm. And what will be the resources or the way of the community will be present over that decision? Thank you. Um, so, doing it the, uh, I'm going to say the wiki way, and people that have known me, I love being disruptive. Uh, we, uh, as I said, you are, we are here together in Wikimania, and you're saying you don't have a mandate, and you're saying you want to have a discussion regarding funding and so on. And again, we are together for the next three days. Ooh, if you want to make things happen, now, now is a good time. Actually, if we want to solve even short terms, fast track it in two days, we, we could do it now. Like we could ask for a room and just say, this is the Wiki uh, Media Summit war room, whatever. You make sure that there are people from Wikimedia Germany and foundation that are in the room able to say, yes, I can not even just approve, but just say, yes, I can support that within my organization and go back with a budget. We can pull a budget together. We can put a framework together. We can even design a program uh, framework together. It takes like two days, in even a day. We, I mean, that, that's kind of the thing that is, uh, I don't agree on the black hole thing because I think it was very foreseeable, but um, th we are at moments where everything is crap. So anything we do, we do is going to be better than nothing. So let's just do it. I mean, we are in the same place. We are in the same rooms. We just ask for a room. We spend today, tomorrow. I mean, not today because there are some people have sessions. But like tomorrow, working together, designing the program. How do we build up the program? Who should we convey and so on? And we go back to the communities and to you uh, with a first draft of what could be. But the what could be is resources, mandate, program, everything. We are here. Sorry, I think we, we need, uh, uh, if anyone from the program team of the Wikimania is here, to confirm that we have a one hour, for example, for that. And uh, Asoti, it's not me and uh, Sadiq. Two days. Two days. Yeah? Program team, if, there, <laughs> if you have one day for that. Yes? Jan Bad, can you ask Mache? Space is not a question. Coffee is not a question. People are not a question. The only question is do we want to? And if there is a time to do it, we can say starting tomorrow, I'm going to say ten. Ten. Today's the secret welcome party. Yes. Money, logistics. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I would like just to mention, like, if what happens if we don't do this? Because, like, the two surviving gatherings is 
Wikimania, which we don't want to turn into affiliate meetings. We don't want like affiliates to full scale hijack Wikimania because that has always been like Wikimania is also for online contributors, yada yada. But the, uh, the other alternative is regional meetings, which like very much limits scope in terms of who you can learn with because we won't have like government experts from like North America coming to East Asia and experts from like South Asia coming to Central and Eastern Europe to share their experience. This just doesn't happen. So what is currently happening is that like regional meetings are transformed into mini summits because affiliates want to work on their capacity and they want to discuss strategy. So this happens in like 10 different versions of the same thing, which is like imperfect, which people like cope with. Not sure this is something desirable, but our movement ends up in a situations that are like not desirable, but happening because we are doing this, so we are doing this. If we want to disrupt it, we need to change this. Do we want to hand it back to them? Or you want? Do you ever want to say something? Yeah. Uh, I want to push back a little bit on the idea that the future of the affiliate gathering and the future of figuring out the next step in the movement strategy should be tied together. So I think the Wikimedia Summit has been the one meeting where things actually get done. Like There are very few meetings in the Wikimedia movement where you have strong facilitation and facilitation is designed with a specific goal in mind and even fewer where that actually gets done well. So I think Wikimedia Germany uh, deserves huge respect for doing a very good job of turning the Wikimedia Summit into a, a very outcome-oriented decision-making meeting. On the other hand, I think the fact that this meeting was specifically scoped to affiliates was somewhat harmful to the whole movement strategy process which ended up very, very much dominated by the affiliates. And I, I think that that contributed to ending up with a document that the foundation found fairly easy to ignore. So I, I think it would be great to preserve the habit of having meetings which are focused on reaching consensus and publishing a consensus document and that type of thing. But I, I really think that should be detached from the idea of affiliate gatherings, which have definitely have differ, different types of values. But, but if you want to make decisions, then really we need to figure out how to represent the editor communities who are just the core of the movement much better. I think maybe last word to you. Uh, the last questions. Um, we have two, two more minutes, so I think we Okay, so um, since we are running out of time, um, how do we gather feedback? One of these is just one, this session, and then the second would be after Wikimania, we are going to create an online pool that will be shared with all the committees to gather some insight and input as to how we can you know, move forward. Once we have also clarity on our core mandate, we'll reach out to the committees again to decide whether we should move forward with the work that we are doing or not. And then the last one has to do with um, the questions that we have. So we came out with four questions that I will be asking for all of us to answer if we have time. So one is, um, are we going to co-create or is it possible to co-create uh, Wikimedia, the next affiliate gathering with other Wikimedia conferences like Wikimania? That's the question. So that we could have like a, a pre-conference or like an affiliate gathering for day one or two, or day one before the main conference. Then the second one, uh, are we going to continue to have only affiliate gathering? Should it only be representatives of affiliates? And the third one would be, Will the next affiliate gathering be rotational, like from one region to the other or one affiliate to the other? And then who will be the main stakeholder now that we don't have Wikimedia Deutschland? Would it be Wikimedia Foundation, a third party, non-Wikimedia organization? Maybe Google or Facebook, I don't know. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, thanks, uh, Richard uh, Ferros. Um, I guess maybe something that we should recognize is uh, there's there's levels of resources between the 100% resources we've had in the past, or 100% compared to what we've had in the past, and 0%. So um, there, there are a lot of options in between. I think something an option that might make sense is supporting something like an online conference in 2025, or possibly supporting a smaller in-person conference. Um, I think this goes uh, in hand in hand with thing, rethinking the affiliate aspect. Um, so still involving affiliates in some way, but but making it maybe broader, maybe having representations per region rather than per affiliate, or regions and thematic, because of course a number of people are active in thematic things rather than regional things. Um, I think there is you know a lot of capacity to have something significant in 2025 that would cost you know a fraction of what, what's been spent in the past. It wouldn't be quite as big and, and, and fancy, but I think it, it could still move us forward oh, okay. and prepare for something larger. And I think it might be, make sense to like expand the committee or invite other people to have it be involved, or invite other affiliates and other organizations to be involved. Um, and maybe that's path forward. Thanks. So we, I was just told that we are over time. Can we have like a few extra minutes maybe? No. <laughs> so I would suggest those who are interesting to con uh, interested to continue the conversation in the next two days, shall we just gather outside? Okay, so I think monitor, let's uh, keep the conversation going on the Wikimania Telegram group and Summit Telegram group and what? Yeah, Swan group, so we'll... we'll with the people who just said they would be interested to continue the conversation, let's... Uh, Let's do that. And I wanted, we wanted to thank everyone, especially the group and, ah, not the right mm. clicker again, especially the group and you all for participating. And I wanted to especially thank uh, Gergo because you made a, a great segue to our little uh, advertisement here because ab about how the summit has been facilitated. We created a playbook for collective deliberation processes. So if anyone's interested in learning how to facilitate such processes, go to wikimedia.de slash playbook. There you can download it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.